who said that he had to, that she had to go home for an audition. Because Margo called today. That's right. That's what she told me. Yeah. And um, and so that's what happened with that. We were going to get together. So that was the big prospect is all over with now. Yeah. That really bummed me out. So it's like, yeah, if I'm ever in Miami, I'll give you a call. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> Well, we need some kind of good veggie. Lord, have some broccoli. Yeah, let's. I thought there was some lettuce too. Yeah. We got behind you, Bruce. The theory. Okay. And you missed it, all right. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, sure, you can cook it up. It's really hard to keep focused in here. There's like no definition. Yeah. Do you like okra? I've never had it. Well, I mean, I've had it, but I wouldn't know what it Okay, uh, uh, yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms? It's all the best. I saw a place for Donna Rice yesterday. Yeah. Did you see Donna? Heavy duty. Are you guys going to come play volleyball tomorrow? Possibly. Maybe he'll hook this up uh, when we get back. I think he can do that to his TV set. The dance I like. Pues si no le gusta, para mí sí. Elvis really dead? No. Where's Our Elvis? Our vote yes for I for president, 15 to 1. That's the. <laughs> Why not? Uh, you sure? Why don't you just get some uh, powder box of linguine? We got lots. You sure? How about linguine for a change? You have the flat ones, you have some spinach ones. Go ahead. <laughs> the jig and the check
slow line. Do you have anything you want to add to this? Poor Elvis. Will he ever rest in peace? Poor Elvis. Who the heck is Alexis and Crystal? Well, that's Alexis and Crystal. Uh, yeah, they're they're both the um, well. I think Alexis is the ex-wife of John Carrington, and Crystal is the current wife. <laughs> and like they hate each other, and because Alexis is like a real bitch, and Crystal is like pure. You can tell by her name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can. I caught that. And uh, and so like they're always like fighting and everything. Such children. But who's the husband? John Carrington. He's this businessman. He gets his haircut at his desk while he works. So like to save time. Is this what you're gonna money. do up in the penthouse area? Yeah. <laughs> Have your bevy of beauticians uh, uh, yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. How about the nails? Are you gonna get your nails done too? The manicure? I don't know. If they can do it while I'm writing. I was gonna say, didn't they offer that when you, you know, amongst the uh, the sheet service and everything? <laughs> Chaz only wants a Nautilus in his place. Who? Chaz only wants a Nautilus in his place. The problem is you see everything in black and white. We have to look the other eye to see the color. I know. Then you get all confused. I guess it could be worse, huh? Are all the lines this long? Huh? Are all the lines this long? Yeah, pretty much. I guess you don't have much choice here, do you? This is a drag. What's the read about Ollie North? What's going on no, in there? How about the TV creatures? Okay. You have to turn around this way, though. Yeah, that's no, I mean so I can see inside. So you can see what? Inside. This? Yeah. Okay. You can't read backwards. Okay. You have to stand here before. <laughs> Video evangelists, the survivors, it's pitch and pray and wish the scandal away. In the wake of recent controversies, here's what viewers are getting from the leading electronic preachers. <laughs> read on. Some TV evangelists have always had an image problem. A little matter of smugness, hypocrisy, and greed. But when Oral Roberts pronounced that God might call him home if, faithful, if the faithful didn't cough up $8 million, and when Jim Baker resigned his PTO ministry amid a sex and hush money scandal, uh, preacher bashing suddenly turned into a national sport. <laughs> what night's that on? <laughs> uh, Donations to most TV ministries plummeted, and some had been receiving, ha having financial problems even before the scandals broke. There's simply not, not enough audience to support them all. I think when for a long period of shakedowns of Jeffrey Haddon, co-author with Charles Swan of Primetime Preachers, like the stock market, it's taken a dive, and there seems to be in a free fall. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. I'll ignore it. We're not making any advancement here, are we, in this one? Uh, I over there. Is Chaz in another line or he just drifted off? I think he's off one of them. So what do we got now? We got the fire. Where's the cheesecake? AIDS, that's not a cheesecake. <laughs> Bless you. Who's that with Eddie Murphy? Uh, that's his mom. Oh. Who's he it's hanging out with? Readers want Ollie North for president by 15 to 1 margin. Yikes. Put Ollie in the White House by an overwhelming 15 to 1 margin. That's the verdict of Inquirer readers corresponding to a telephone call announced in a special six page Ollie North section on our July, 19th, uh, our July 28th issue. <laughs> a total of 53,912 readers. 
called our 900 telephone number to answer yes or no to the question. Would you vote for Oliver North for president? Incredibly, 49,503 answered with a resounding yes, compared to only 3,409 who said no. There is just one more tribute to the astonishing popularity of North who rocked into fame during his testimony before the Congressional Iran-Contra Committee. One time will tell if North will enter politics, but inquirer readers have spoken out loud and clear. It is time he moved up to the Oval Office. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to make any advancement here today. Where'd Chazaroni go? I don't know. This is a drag. Obviously, this is not the good time to come in here. Yeah, right? <laughs> Sure, it's busy, that's for sure. What did you find out there? <laughs> Any things of any excitement? <laughs> you did get more garlic, I take it. Yes? This is all going in. It's going into what? All going into tonight's meal. Oh, good. We're going to be nice and sick. Do you get any jalapenos to stick with it, too? Yeah. We might as well just go all the way. Go, Charles. Oh, very good. <laughs> go for it. You think Chaz would let's uh, put that in a nice meal? It really. Kind of a funny thing. Ingredients, pork snouts, cured pork tongues, water, pork heart, salt, gelatin, vinegar, dextrose, flavoring, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, sodium nitrate. Sounds good to me. Oh, you're not going to take it after all that? <laughs> so Chaz, what sort of meal are we getting out of this? That's right. Time to play. Uh, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's uh, had more TV. Yeah, right, really. Yeah. Can I give you seven ones? Yeah. Some people have a fit. Yeah, one of the things is you can't get that close to anything. I know, it has a, a kind of an odd depth of feel. Well, there's none whatsoever in here right now. Yikes. Also, it's horrible to focus. It's impossible. Thank you. 
That's the bad. This way we can catch if you make a mistake. <laughs> this is a consumer oriented project. Did I make a mistake? No. The thing is going to catch you. Well, this goes to prove that actually going to the store is quite boring, you know? <laughs> I've never done it before. <laughs> well, just think about it. You're just going in your mind, really. There's really not much to do. Well, you
Yeah, who? Is this really it? gray walls Ooh. and uh, horrible wallpaper all over the place. It's yeah, you said it was horrible wallpaper. I was going to say, white seems to be the whole key. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is really gorgeous. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they need to come back six months here. later and still see all these boxes here. Right now, <laughs> no, because I have nothing to put. I mean, I don't have anything to undo. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a bathroom. Oh, you're going to fill this up. It's going to be fun. I've got one of well, I want really no furniture almost. Oh, a Charlesism, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's his ideas. Everything is just going to be white, white, white. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, yeah right. She's cleaning up the bathroom before I get in there with the camera. <laughs> you, have, you have additional implements in here. Oh, my God. Like, huge. Oh, my word. This is great. So your VCR is ready to be... Uh, well... Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'll 
never use it. It's just that I'll never yes, know how to put it, fix it up, hook it up. Well, let's do it. Okay. What the heck? I'm also getting a new TV. My sister bought me a new TV. But if you do it here, then I'll know what to do in the other one. <laughs> since, since this is so ugly, so I was like, just wanted to get rid of this TV because it's too ugly. So that's it? So I'm going to hook that's it up to the meantime, but my sister is buying me a, a new one. Brand new one. But, uh, a new TV. She, okay. By the time she brings well, it over to me. Let's see if we can figure this out. So it's real. Do you want to finish this? Or... Are you? Do you want something to drink? This is what turns it off, but I've just been running it. Anything okay. to drink? And this is the focus now. Drink? Yeah. Sure. What would you like? Oh, something light. <laughs> just um, like Perrier. Yes. Um, yeah. Perrier. Yeah. I only have small glasses. Now. I oh, good. Glasses. Well, let's see if we can. Do that wine? Well, I think we got wine out. <laughs> yeah, I already had I my wine. my legal limit. Your legal limit? No lime. Oh, lime. Oh, lime. Oh, lime is good. Hey, that was, yeah, that was really yeah, good, wasn't yeah, it? Well, How was your lunch, anyway? What did you have? I had, like, some kind of spinach salad with, you know, a, some very good unidentifiable objects. Some good ones? <laughs> <laughs> some, you know, with all kinds of little exotic doodads. Oh, go ahead. Say what you said about my chicken. That was, that was the truth. It really, I mean, it tasted good. <laughs> but though. was it good? Well, yeah. no. No, Bruce got some chicken. It, it just looked like shake and bake, you know. It looked like <laughs> shake and bake chicken, but it was... It would taste According good. to Bruce, yeah, excellent. But you're right, it did look like steak and bake. That was a yeah, sort of a threat. I didn't say it, though. No, I said it. <laughs> I said it probably too loud. I, I always, every time I go there, I always have the fear that I'm going to be the first person to ask to, you know, that they ask to turn in their membership. <laughs> Why? I always feel like I'm misbehaving I'll in some you way. Scam. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here we go. Jesus, Kathy, you pull this one right out of the wall. Napa, Ronin. In from antenna, out from TV. Now we have a problem here. Do you have, I, I assume you have cable here, yes? What do you mean cable? You don't have cable yet. No, I don't think I'm going to get it either. You're not? Well, where do I want cable? I don't know, you never know. There might be something know. on Pee Wee Herman's Clubhouse <laughs> or something. Yeah, right. I know. So, That's a network. Your wife, Margo, has it. No, I watch P. Lisa. Okay, so we got in and out. No, wait a minute. We'd have to see what you do so I can redo it. Out from TV. Oh, out to TV. I mean, ultimately, I'll take the TV out of here. This should do it. Let's. That's it? I assume so. Um, this one goes on VHF or UHF? That's the one I'm always confused by. Do you know which one it is? <sighs> which is the normal one? UHF, right? Yeah. I think that's the one it that goes on, isn't it? We'll find out. I'm pretty sure, and then this is supposed to go here, but how come they don't match up? Maybe it's because this is what we Ah, oh, I really killed my fingers. Oh, huh. I took a chunk of it. Well, let's just try this one see what happens. Unless it would go on here. So are these new things that you get? Is it new furniture? It's just, yeah, it's, well, it's new and then I've never, I just bought it, but it's old. I mean, somebody's used to it. Yeah. Um, I guess I just remember that you said you didn't. Right, I guess you didn't. Right, you remember? Well, I found this, this guy, our curator. Um, but the guy who does Mickey's curating was started to help me find some furniture. And so he found this guy who had the couch and the chairs. Uh -huh. And then I brought another piece from him, but the guy's mad at me. He's mad at just What? I'll tell you in a minute. He's mad at me because he was supposed to deliver it for three days in a row, and he kept calling me to reschedule every hour. And then finally so he got mad at you. Up. So I yelled at him for being irresponsible. So meanwhile, I bought the most fabulous set of dishes from him. I mean, the most incredible set of, like, you would flip over them. They're really oh, yeah. funny. And, um, yeah, I mean, like, service for 10, with all these very weird serving pieces, like 1950s, real, <laughs> really nice. I mean, $150. So he won't bring over my dishes, and I don't even have dishes. Uh, now he won't. So I'm really pissed. Can you go get Why? them? Why? He's, nobody answers his phone. Maybe I can call him again. Yeah, That's terrible. In the meantime, I owe him all this money from the couch, so I'm sure it'll show up eventually. You know, I'm always confused you. Which one's UHF and which one's VHF? Chris, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, well. <laughs>
I guess turn it off. Okay, which button? I can't believe the views from here. This is utterly spectacular. Yeah. No, I mean, it's poor because he's dead. <laughs> There's no more wasties. Yeah, that should do it. Since there's no more wasties <laughs> for Walter. <laughs> Did you show David this tape? David. Kent. No, he liked it. I th yeah, I thought I thought he would. No, he's at a ten. <laughs> Is there a little thing on there, a chapter that, that, that says what's what? <laughs> What time is well, at least we're able to give this thing a theme. It'll be Kathy yeah, and your TV great. working. <laughs> these don't fit. They, are they the double A's or triple A's? Oh, these are the wrong size. Yeah, they have to be the real tiny little ones. So now the TV doesn't work, I guess. Well, that's well, great. I'll just get batteries. <clears throat> you only set this channel when you're recording something off the TV. You don't control your channels for the TV. Only when I put this on three. Yeah. yeah, but so when you turn this on to play the VCR, you the VCR to play the TV, you hit it again so it's on the TV setting. But you can see the setting. You see it says VCR, and VCR is on the top of the TV. But why is it? Do you have the tape still running? You want everything go wait 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 wait. You want everything going through here. You don't want to use this anymore because yeah. this is disconnected. Right. Are you sure? Mine yeah, doesn't just, work like that. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, you're, you're still getting things, but the antenna. But then it's not. But this here. doesn't change the channel. It on the should. It should. Put it back on the tape back on. It should. Be, it should change. It just did it a minute ago. Did you before you did something? Yeah. It was working a second. There it is. Is that it? I don't know what it was. Okay, which this one? This is the see? channel. There. The See? This is working what did up you here press? now. Just up here, channel up. Let's go channel down. This, oh, it doesn't... What'd you no, do? What, yeah, no, no. What did you press? Tell you about this. What did you okay, press? Okay, right here. See what says TV VCR? And then see right there it's on VCR? So you leave it. You leave it there, and then it'll run through. Now, if we turn the tape on, the picture should go away. Hit the tape. Can you think that I would rob your friends and their families and set you up as a... Oh, right. Okay, so we're all set. So and you get your batteries. Oh, right. Right. oh great. Oh, how great. There we Thanks go. so Whatever. much. I knew we could figure it Between three of us, there had to be a way to figure that out. I mean, what about the antenna? The reception's not very good. Well, that's, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, aluminum foil works really what good, time Kathy. Is it? <laughs> that's all right. I don't need TV. 3.36. So if you get the little batteries, your Walkman batteries won't I wish it. Aldeas would show up. Do they know about this too? Yes. <laughs> well, Margo, after all those years in college, what do you oh, think? You've been nice. beaten by a TV set, huh? Always. <laughs> what? And now I still can't figure this out. I can't even set the clock. <laughs> Twenty to four? Clock. So that's the next thing to figure out. So you're supposed to set I got it right through Friday and the three. What did you supposed Friday? to set oh, so you have to be Friday PM, three PM. Now the minutes is what's getting it. Don't press plus or minus button. Just a set button. Okay, now. Measure three the hours, press the set button, press Here the I plus or minus button, and yeah. advance or reverse through the minutes. It's 3. What time is it? Um, 3 40? 3.37. All right. It's working. Yahoo! I don't know. I just press set and then plus or minus. So now we have. Good. Ah! Yay! All right, now this is off. How do I turn it off? Uh, you hit your off button. You have to turn off your VCR too, the power on the left side. How exciting. So now when you make that stereo come in right? <laughs> Deception. When a man is a man. I was gonna say, right, I don't know, balls. <laughs> Literally six 
months from now, so the place will be full of furniture. No, it will never take be out full. this wall? I would love to. Yeah, you said you would. I was thinking about it, but I can't afford to. Because then I'd have to re-carpet the whole stereo so it's a big Well, I do like these a lot. It's nice carpeting, too. I mean, it's like the or this. Do you like the couch? Yeah, it's cute. It's funny because, well, as you say, yeah. you can change it. That's the best part about it. I know, yeah. This is the room to the room. Fall through the cracks. It's all individual things. Fall through the cracks. Individual things. Yeah. I Life's like it. Like a bitch, and then you fall so through you the cracks. So you can move it all over. Yeah. Have wild parties. Hey, just think this is the is first building made here. Is this 60s? 60s. This is, well, this was in the 70s. The 70s. And then the chair. It's on its own. You know Cesar Trasavanos? Oh, yeah. But he just, he's here. Oh my god, he's downstairs too. Yeah. You know, that's you the know. greatest part about downstairs is... <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a real right. process to get in here. I was cracking up because I was waiting for them to pull up like the Mrs. gun turret, you know? I like that they call me Mrs. Les. I, I want them to think that's my name. Right. <laughs> so what did they send me? Just think when the buzzards come, you're all set. Did they send a red for white? Well, we didn't look. They did send red. Was that what they're supposed to send? I wanted red, white, and champagne. Well, you got the champagne for sure. Yeah, we really. Have this helicopter and the I know it's like all the this. You have everything. It's kind of stunning, you know. And, and I know it really is. So what do you get? You get sunset here. Sunset. Oh, that must be spectacular. That must be really something. Yeah. So stay tuned to sunset. <laughs> I think today would be a good day to you. <laughs> so do you. I mean, do you like the orange? In the... I don't know. You think the orange is too much? Mm. Oh, it's so it stands out right now. That's the idea. <laughs> I think it's a bit too. Well, that's true too. Well, you know, you'll work that out. Yeah, hey, you know, you don't yeah, like something I mean, here, you yeah, just you throw have, it out. You, you know? have to make, you have to make, <laughs> kind of make it work or something. I think it's funny, it's really eccentric. I mean, yeah, you know, I, sort of, I like it. Yeah. I love the couch. And I sort of what the what oh, you need here? It sort of looks like a combination of Howard Johnson's and the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. See, that was close. Yeah. I was going to say what you need. I was going to just hang banners out of the wall. Yeah, yeah right. Know? Or a small I size mean, like color. a whole row of them. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> right. Banners and then in between helmets on the wall. Mounted. <laughs> the that the could be. <laughs> the dolphin. You're right, right. <laughs> 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 I could turn it into a dolphin museum. Oh, that would be pretty good. <laughs> That's good. Oh my gosh, you leave the door. Then, no, they, they probably shot. frown on it. Nobody's that, even on this, but look what's so nice. You look outside. I was about to say. You just see Miami Beach. I just opened it because this was good. Yeah, you get the, a double view. Then we have like two swimming pools. So, are you playing volleyball on Thursdays? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start oh, yeah, this Thursday. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, good, good. What's happened so now? You can't it, laugh at me because I won't wear shorts because I have to wrap my knee. I mean, I have a bad knee. Oh, sorry. There's a few, so there's a few wrap knees there. And do they wear shorts and wrap their knee on the outside? Yeah, well, that's, that's okay. You have, to, you have to, when you realize you see some of the other people playing, there's two people playing a whole court. Here we are. That's when, oh, you're right. You weren't kidding. Oh, no. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi. Bruce. Good to see and you, Bruce. Bruce. Hi, long time no see. Hi. I'm so uh, glad you came. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Good. I, 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 Juan? Yeah, Juan. Hey, we met a long time ago. Yes, I got uh, 8th Street. So I hope you both don't, don't mind, but I'm taping. I like it. I like it. You'll fit in. Is this the one we came to see that time? Was it the same one? This is the tour. Or did you see Dina's, the one with the mirrors? Oh, yes, he had for Mike and all sorts of oh. alcohol. Oh, all right, this, right, this is, no, this is a different great one. great space. Oh, really? Great. Well, tell me how you like the orange and the turquoise. I'm a little here, no? That's the one, isn't it? <laughs> you is that, can't get out. <laughs> yeah. No, we thought it was from Miller, but we found it in another book. And it's some German guy, I can't remember his name. Don't really? jump! Very nice. <laughs> do you like the orange with it? It's very, yes. It's okay. It's that's, that's very, uh, high You definitely it's have to get more of these. Very bright. I have to decide if I want to keep the chairs, if I keep doing one orange or doing one orange. Is that detachable? Yeah. They're just separate. Yeah, each piece? Yeah. Well, they're supposed to have You can't get too rowdy on these. Like the hooks, huh? You can't get too rowdy. Oh, that's oh. nice. <laughs> you know, the yeah. hooks are missing. I think so. Oh, you should have some of these, like separate. Yeah, they're all separate. Yeah. You can separate them. Oh, can you sit in one? Yeah, of right. Just help individual ones. Or just pull a seat. Pull up a chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's comfortable. It's just I think it's real comfortable. <laughs> 
I mean, not work? if you're old and have bad knees. No, right. Right. I just tell myself I just gave you up. All the people Here. That, I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to suspend uh, things from the ceiling. Uh, you lose your chance. I'm going to suspend something from the ceiling, and that way you just, like, yeah, you know. Stack. Do you want something to drink? No, we're just filthy by the I love that. For the view. <laughs> They're the most fascinating chairs I've seen in a long time. I know. So, I mean, Actually, the ones like before were the old Kmart ones, you know, used to fold those ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a continuation of the bean bag. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the real thing? Huh? <laughs> the real thing. Yeah, this, this should lose it, too. You're pretty great, man. Actually, where does this one go? An ottoman? It's floating. It's floating. Yeah. It's so more cute. <laughs> So you obviously had no trouble getting in, eh? Well, we had to valet park, which I don't like. Uh, people park in my car. That's the only yeah. part. Even really? Besides yeah. that, it was you have, can, can nah, you park your you car yourself? You get your butt and you know, everything you had to put in there. I hate people you know, driving car, my car. Yeah. Did they peel out? a funny feeling. They peel out. Well, I guess it could be worse. Yeah, it's nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, this idea to go somewhere. Um, yeah. No, there we go. This thing automatically focuses. Isn't that really great? It is. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to think. I know. It's focus. It's a problem, even. But I, because the other day when we were in the, and then I'm gonna have Michael Wall design. The supermarket. I was like going berserk. You can't see a thing in this. You know, like. And here. And they're looking at painting. This is much better. A big Noguchi lamp over here. One of those big pink Already? Lamps. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you can't smoke around those. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> probably true. Well, so they pick they're just this thin pit. Yeah. Yeah. Right oh, on. this isn't really good to sit on. They're very nice. <laughs> yeah, that one's a little. This low. one. Anyway, it's funny, isn't it? Who is it that designed it? I can't remember the guy's name. I saw it in a book. It's this German designer. It was designed in the 70s, 1970. 71. These are more 60s. Yeah, that's from yeah, 60s. That's about yeah. Too. Well, that came before. So this is a 60s apartment. Well, it's a mixture. I mean, this is 70s. That's 50s. That's 60s. You have to get some 90s in here. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Something really futuristic. Yeah. Right. I saw this gorgeous table. That's right on the beach table, now. But this is the I can't afford it. So. <laughs> I, these, I was thinking about doing. I've got these um, stools. You know, like the the Noel, the um, Platner tables. I bought two stools. And I wanted to do like zebra or cowhide or something really With all the wire. funny. Yeah. 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 But, um, <laughs> yeah, it would look great in zebra. <laughs> I know. It yeah. I, right. And you can have your like little uh, leopard skin evening dress. Or leopard. <laughs> <laughs> your Fredericks. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> I guess when the party really gets going, you can set off those spark those too. Those, uh, those <laughs> oh my god, they must spray out in this whole place. I wish they would just change the elevator. I mean, that particularly, the elevator is so ugly. You I, it. Yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> break, so break, break it up. I can't give you anything, nothing to do. It's 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 be be let him there you go. Oh, yeah, that'd be good great idea. have Purvis come. That's a good idea. for a few months. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do all the we have to start going to the condo committee meetings and propose right. some of these things. <laughs> I wonder how that would go over here. Purvis? Are you still filming? Yeah, it just doesn't stop. This is really great. You see this? No, let's see. It does everything. Yeah, it's just, I love it. Point. Do I, where can I see what it's just look doing? right in here. Well, if you really want to look close, look in here, and it automatically focuses. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? And if you whip it over, like, watch how it changes. Is that too much? Anyway, it does everything, and it looks beautiful. Actually, the most, oh, shoot, it's in the car. I can play on TV. It's, just, it's amazing. Right? You, you just the take the cassette and throw it in the TV. TV. There's a thing that fits on the bottom of this. Goes yeah, right it's great. TV. And the sound is almost oh. digital. Oh, so that. I have it on all the time. Yeah, yeah. I've just been taking out, I, I made a little rule that i got to have at least two people around me. Do you uh, an entourage. Does yeah. it work on batteries or is it recharging? Sure battery. It's and an it focuses battery. itself? Yeah. And you could also, there's another thing. Yeah, it's focusing. Let's, it's, it's at its limit now. No. Four feet. That's the only I thing. I love it. Battery pack that you can recharge? Or yeah. Just a yeah. It's a little thing. It's right up here. 
and pops out. And then they have another. So you've just been having this on. There's a tape in it. There's a tape in this. And then, yeah, right now. How long are the tapes? How what are you doing? The filming for? I, this the uh, the the Miami uh, uh, opus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after poor white trash, after poor right. Western generation, I had to come back. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. It's having it's trouble reading you right now. No, huh. I just, just did it's it. like reading outside distance. It's, it's just today. going back. Ah, uh, back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a helicopter out there. You must be some sort of a poltergeist. Right, right. <laughs> Are you related to Robocop? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's great, Kathy. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff here. So, what should I do? Well, that is the question. <laughs> yeah, what should I do? Any ideas? Anybody? Uh -oh. <laughs> a good beginning here. This is incredible. It's freaking out. Kathy, you're setting off all kinds of rays. It must be your... Uh, don't... What do you call it? The harmonic what? Turn it off. The Please. harmony... Turn the harmony it. confluence. <laughs> the harmonic confluence. <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday. Are you ready for that this weekend? <laughs> the harmonic ensemble. Right. <laughs> You're going to be there, too. Concoction. I see. You want to start the end of civilization? I, so I, I had Bruce Hanny from the Foundlings. Because they 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 have, their house wine is delicious there. Do you have any the house wine? Yeah, that one's good. What do you like? Just one glass of wine. Can we open it? Yeah, of course. That sounds like a very good idea. The closest. Now, I don't have any glasses, so you have to have non-wine. It's a convergence. But I have small glasses. It's a convergence. It's a harmonic convergence. Right, and she comes up with the harmony. Oh, I have a book of fluids. Fluids. Same thing. Yeah. Here, you What's the difference? <laughs> Where are you going? To the one in Key West. Oh, yeah, you are? Oh, that, is, that is the closest one. We're not going to any harmonic. Uh, no, 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 no harmonic <laughs> concerts? <laughs> hey, Lead Belly was there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You know, I don't know. Oh, gosh. Uh, I think it's kind of great because. Uh, the, the thing is, if you, I've been reading all the stuff about it from different sources, so everybody has their, you know, scope on it. But the deal is that unless there's like total nuclear annihilation or Christ comes back, you're not supposed to even know anything happens. Yeah. <laughs> Easy out. Right. Yeah, so you just have to get all prepped for it and, and be ready so for it, and then maybe a month or two from now you'll realize what happens. So I think that's great. Because do do it, it doesn't, it doesn't so judge at all, right? No, no, no. He was a sort of early medieval mystic. He was a, he was a physician, but he predicted all this stuff. A lot of it's coming through. So that this is it like Gene Dixon then? Yeah, <laughs> like a medieval Gene Dixon. <laughs> Poor Gene. <laughs> they are having trouble with the one in California because they uh, decided to have it at this place, and it just happens that. It's, you know, it's, so, it's gotten uh, full, but no one, I, uh, no one else can go, and it seems so that people are, are going to get in hordes. So where's this, like Mount Shasta or someplace like uh, that? Uh, no, honest! Yes, it is. It is, it is and that's the whole thing, yeah, because you're supposed to go to a high point. Oh, high. And Mount Shasta was like a favorite hippie yeah, place in the 60s. That's it. If I'm not mistaken, that's where they're having it. Yeah, it's, it's, they're just having a lot of trouble because there are no facilities and the public facilities to build them. So there is going to be a catastrophe. You can actually go like the roof of the Southeast Bank. Something yeah, like I thought that would be good. Yeah, right. The highest building in Miami. The buzzard roost in the... Uh, mm. in the uh, is there a specific time? Or is this is a... Well... Is it just, just being there uh, doing several hours or not? It's supposed to be all weekend. Yeah. Oh, all weekend. Oh, all weekend. Yeah. So there's, there's, like, there's, there's like a crescendo yeah. of vibes at some point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'll, you'll know it when you back in somebody on the interstate. <laughs> Right. Uh, uh, right. Uh, the table is <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, they're being bad in the kitchen. I can't let them go um, like this. They're hiding in the corner. So, um, um, and the other thing is, like, people are doing all these weird things that are into this. And then one of them, like, Charles is going down and being with dolphins. Oh, Charles, is Charles into this? Yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, he found it. He's trying to be real cool about it, but at the same time, he, he found somebody that trains dolphins in the Keys. He's in school for like Marine World and stuff like this. So he's going to go, right, so he's going to go live with dolphins for the weekend. And Marilyn and Carla were there going out to the islands, right? So you're supposed to go out. It's nature, you know, right? Are you going to Roberts? Yeah. So I'm just like, 
What am I doing? I'm appearing. The seventh floor, right? That's right. You know, I mean, she wouldn't be able to live it up if she didn't, right? You know. Where were you doing the con floor? I don't mind. I was at the Holiday Inn. The Golden Glades. Who would like some wine? Or do you want it warm or cold? Uh, I don't want any. No. Well, just just a taste, because after we went through all that, it looks exactly what we just had, though. It probably is. Did you just have the house wine? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Okay. Bonito? That was good. How many of these does Miami Dade have? Unfortunately, only two. That's all, really. Yeah. We have to try to get them to buy a lot more. Mm -hmm. I was telling, well, I was with Margo at lunch. I was going, geez, it's just so amazing they don't have like ten of them because like when the Pope's coming, that would just be great. Send them all out, right? Of course, because you know the media is going to be covering, you know, <laughs> the Pope mobile. <laughs> Yeah, well, can you imagine? What's, that's going to be phenomenal. Right. The arrangements are incredible. Well, the bathroom yeah. arrangements. Really? <laughs> right. Who goes first? Are they going to put the toilet seat covers back down? No, no, no. no. <laughs> There's one dedicated bathroom that gets sealed from yeah. the day before. Yeah, we'll sealed from the day before, right. We'll Don't flush that to toilet. <laughs> Probably they're trying to work that out now. They said they want to you kneel on it. Yeah, right. You can kneel on it. That's what it is. It's really an ottoman. That's right. You need a typewriter to go with it. <laughs> so what is the deal? Where I mean, that's what I want to know. I've been thoroughly confused. Where are Pope and Reagan going to meet? <laughs> is that is that what it is, right? Yeah. I've heard so many different stories, but I keep hearing talking about a harmonic. Uh, yeah, right. They're going to encounter. Have, yeah, they're going to yeah, right. They could really change the course of history if they wanted to, couldn't they? <laughs> right. A private meeting between the Pope and Reagan that could be pretty good. It should be a real zoo here. Zoo? Know, At least you're up high, Kathy. That's good. I won't be here. I'm so glad. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it will be a good time to be away. You think so? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, unless you want to get involved in it, unless you're sort of in the spirit of this I don't think you can miss, you know? <laughs> yeah. You might see the Pope's plane coming this way as you go oh, right. towards well, Italy. Wants to come and watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's probably what they're going to have to watch out for. They'll probably be like all these like uh, mad bombers and these little Piper Cubs coming after this big jet. <laughs> They'll be shooting them out of yeah. the sky. Sort of like the orange. I'm not sure yeah. if it's too... Are these brand new by any chance? They're real old. But they've been in storage or something? No, I just had it all clean. Oh. They really looked pretty They were brown good. before. <laughs> Are these in Miami <laughs> Dolphin <laughs> colors? Right. And Howard Johnson's colors. Right. I was going to say, they have to sail the up the Golden Blades. <laughs> right? Do you think it looks too much like the Miami Dolphins? I don't think so. Well, you're the one who is the... No, you know why you won't be accused of that? Because these are, these are too dark. Movie. These are much too dark. You don't think this? Yeah. If this was lighter, you'd be in trouble, because that's a pretty close match. But. And, uh, and the Dolphins are aqua, it's a little bit lighter. Yeah. It's a weird piece. What? So is it? Nice. But do you like it? Yeah. I'd like to see it all moved out. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like, yeah, separate and Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of the furniture in, like, what, Dr. Strangelove. <laughs> I really like, it sort of looks like a lobby, I think. Do you think? No. No, no, I, uh, with a big space, it, you know, it, it has its own, uh, I think it, it works yeah, very well. Wants, I mean, I don't really want a whole lot of furniture. I'm going to the dining room and just a table here. Use the track lights and stuff. I'm just going to put a mirrored ball and a laser right. show. <laughs> I was going to hang things that you could, you know, get up from the couch with, you know, like, oh, and, like the Don't subway, the subway things, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that if, you know, people, girls put some type of spring on it. <laughs> you can get I mean, right really up into a double you're back. Hey, actually, now you're up on the beach, what you do is you get the fish net, you know? <laughs> put the fish in it and things. Yeah, I could do that. You can have fun. I always thought it would be nice if you if you just change the place every month or so. Right, right. Well, every couple see, months. See, I could rearrange totally. this. Yeah, yeah, you keep people confused for a long time. Does this yeah. one all split up? So, so do you think I should have like a round table? Yeah. Like every, table? every, every it's like it should be round. Way round. Separate. At this point. Oh, that's right. You got to put both those in the same room. It could be freeform. It could be made up of components like the sofa where you can shape it. Right. Oh, so yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Out of bricks. Like Legos. Right, right. <laughs> wow, go. good idea. Buy, uh, buy 100 bricks. And make a dining room table out of bricks? Yes. I'll reshape it the first time for you. 
A la Carla and Greg. Greg, what would you put on top? Glass? No, brick. You just eat out the brick? Oh, is it for eating or is it no, for no, a lounge? No, it's for a small, not a dining room thing. No, no, it's one, no, one for you to do it out of bricks. Oh, that would be great. You can, have, a, you can have different glass shapes. Like Carl Andre. Andre. I was gonna, no, 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 uh, we're, 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 we're on a high for that, yeah, please. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, four, piece of glass, and main room. So you can change it. Think of someone more. else. You know, you something lighter. Can you put glass on top of bricks? Yeah. <laughs> right. Do it. Do bricks and have a freeform piece of glass on it. Oh, I have to ask you a question, Cesar. Last, was it last Saturday or the Saturday before? We were hanging out at the. Um, it shouldn't be it's similar. Oh, what's the hotel on the beach? 14th Street or so? The Carlisle. This is going before. And at some point late in the afternoon, you came cruising up. You are. And you went in the hotel next door and came out with some tourists. Who or what? Were they? Because we had bets going. Well, what did you think? Yeah, well, that was it. My impression was I just like flipped out because you uh -huh. were you were so single-minded about what you were uh -huh. doing. Uh -huh. You just boom. And when they came out, the guy I said, "Oh my God, it's a real artist." Mm. That was my impression. The person, the other person said, "No, it's not an artist. It's, it's an administrator. It's a bureaucrat." Uh, at this point, they don't look. Uh, Anything like one another. That was uh, no, they don't. That was the other thing too. It was like the woman was like the puppy dog or something. Yeah, she yeah. was in But toe. actually, she's one of the curators of the Guggenheim. You're kidding so, me. And he's Joseph Kosuth, the um, conceptual artist. Don't know. I knew he was an artist though. I was early, right. Okay, all right. One of the early yeah. people in New York. He's been around like 15 years. But New York, right? Yeah. Well, he's in the Castello. And what's her name? Um, her name is. Um, well, it's Mrs. Kosuth now, because they just got married. But it's a German last name. Her first name is Cornelia. And I don't remember what her name is. Oh, that's fine. I, see, I missed her totally. I read, it was clear. It was, you know why? Because like, everything was too perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, the perfect black shirt and the jacket. <laughs> and that little band he had around his portfolio bag or whatever. Right, it was just right, too right. much. And the shoes. And then she just was like, well, well, dowdy almost. She, almost dowdy. She just walked just straight off. Well, well he's probably been wearing that uniform for 15, 20 years. It looked like it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, that's good. That's good to hear. Because we were, we were, you know, we were all, we were taking bets. Right, right. right. We were both bets. It was one artist, one bureaucrat. Right, but they were saying he was a bureaucrat. Right, right. Oh, I can't wait to report on you that. You can make it sort of round. Collect on that bet. Oh, neat. Well, anyway, we were just, but we were also so, so tank, so to speak, that we didn't make any effort to wave or anything. <laughs> it's such a show going sitting out there. I know. Oh. I mean, just the cars cruising by. Yeah. The best was a car comes by. This was Ultimate Miami. I don't think anywhere else you could get this. I forget. It was some BMW, right? There was a woman driving, a man sitting on the side. So she was entertaining this man, right? Driving the car, talking on her car phone. And as she hit the car a lot, was like, oh, hi, Bob. <laughs> and then making a turn. It was, it was impressive. I mean, it was like, wow. <laughs> Can fit anything else in there? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Talking in your car for waving in the car. Oh, yes. Give me a break. You know, these car phones are like this one, sort of a frightening phenomenon. I hate to be in the street when you see a bunch of people driving by. Do you have one yeah. yet? You don't no, have one. Do you have one yet? No. no. Kathy's the only one in the room that has one? What? <gasps> oh, that's right. Kathy has one. We're having a discussion about car phones. And you said you could manage yours. You could. You can't yeah. drive and talk at the same time. Yeah, I love it. I could never drive and Whoa. talk at the same time. So it's one <laughs> hazard on the road. Right, anyway. and chew gum too. Things done by different people. Yeah. All right. So that's it all becomes like a collection. Yeah, wow. that's a good idea. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Let Michael work awesome. on the dining table. Might as well make an investment while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> Should I let Michael do the dining table? Of course. Yeah. Or something, or something else, maybe. He already went at it. A brick table with a piece of mirror and yeah. two pieces of glass. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Yeah. And the thing is that you can change it, you know. <gasps> Every time we come visit, you will change the table. Fun thing is that you have to, <laughs> the condition is that you have to find all the ingredients and not buy any of Find it? Yeah. No, no, that's right. That's just a turn. She doesn't have time to go find it. No, no, no. You can have the cold gables. They throw everything yeah, out down there. Right. <laughs> throw in a couple of mattresses. <laughs> that's what Kiwi used so, to do when they came over as exiles. They, they went to cold gables. You're kidding me. To get washing machines, and of course. But you, you know, it's funny. I just knew that as a joke because I was living down there. I couldn't believe all the crap on the street every Monday. Of course. Monday. You, you can pick up mattresses and everything. So, how can we do it? I saw a whole set of chairs. It was great. Whenever you can do it. I mean, I'm not in it. We're on our way. I was gonna say we can all bake. Okay. Bake it at once. Yeah, we should. Okay. Oh, 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 o
Saturday? Yeah. Okay, great. You have a date. Any good videotapes? Uh, I don't have yeah. Are you leaving me that sleazy one? <laughs> yeah, that's for you. That's your housewarming. Did you see Bill Bauer? No, no. no. Oh, you? yeah, Bill Bauer. I saw you. Give him the yeah. great deal with yeah. daughter. Yeah. Spanish VHS uh, films? No, I just got the VHS. So now I'm gonna, I'll get Snap to get me some films. Mm -hmm. I've been writing this Cuban film from Cuba. I'm going crazy with the images, you know, the places I can remember. Mm. Uh, but some of them are very bad. Yeah, cheap, cheap nostalgia. Cheap, cheap nostalgia. It's a good one for your Miami. I was going to say, nothing oh, new around so here. <laughs> um, so you're going to work over the weekend? Yeah, I'm going to try to unpack and get everything organized. So, since I can't take any more time off. <laughs> and just hibiscus and orange mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, the, the orange trees would be yeah. really nice, and yeah. they do grow. Yeah. So, but I'm going to do that when I get back, so I don't have to worry about somebody taking right. care of it exactly. all the way. And I don't, I don't know if I should put any plants in here. Yeah, my impulse was not to. so much time. And would you do a round table or no? No, let, 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 let Michael tell. Let Michael tell. Let yeah. him figure it out. Okay. <gasps> all right. Okay. Well, thanks. Oh, thanks so much. Juan, you're so brilliant. Yeah. Well, happy, thank you much. It looks like a... Well, you know why? Because they had it painted, um, they had it painted that ugly gray. Does it work? Yeah, I'm sure. Roll that painting on it. You just put the P in and it's an alarm and you just completely... Oh, look at they really painted up the light. Have you ever heard it go off yet? Yeah. Is it loud? Yeah. Not too smart, because it really screws up the wall. Well, the reason is that they painted that those other people mm -hmm. painted everything was oh, horrible sure. gray, oh, and they had to. They sprayed the whole place. Hey, at least they didn't flock the walls. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, well good thanks to for see coming you. by. Goodbye. Thanks Bye. so much. Nice to see you all again. Yeah. You only have, thanks. what, two more apartments? Thanks. All right. Well, we're on for next Saturday. <laughs> Bye, <Kevin. laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. Well, thank you. That was Thanks. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You always got the answer. Thanks so much. Well, come Kathy, back. I mean, come back no, and visit. It. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 Ta ta. So, do you want to go over here, Laura? Oh, no. Have this down for you. Have it for myself. Oh. Okay, well, I have to stay here and do this thing. <laughs> Forest? <laughs> okay, good. That'd be nice. I'm making these good lemon, lemon squares. Let's see if I'll take it here. Yeah? Good. Okay, baby. Yes, perfect. Okay. Bye bye. There we go. That's better. Well, I was going to torture you with a uh, <laughs> soundtrack. I just got my soundtrack in the mail. Uh oh. I know, that's what I said too. What's it? What's I don't it know. Like? It's, I don't know. I'm not sure. Because I, I heard this afternoon, it's for poor white trash, too. Is that what you are? No, that's what Miami is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the and thing is, the soundtrack reverses that because it ended up she used my narration as the bass, and it's kind of like real boring. Who is this? Who did it? This woman named Elizabeth Austin. She's the porn queen? No. So did you get on that weirdo magazine over there? <laughs> No. Yeah, uh, that was yes. really awful. Do you read? Isn't it hilarious? Those things were, were real. Huh? Someone's in trouble. I know. That's what's so funny about you it. Think they're real? Then they are real. That's what's hilarious. How do you know they're real? Because I know the people that put it they in have, there. Have, it, it's all like. They have rings and their clitoris. Oh, all that. Oh, yeah. That's definitely real. Really? That's yeah. Weird. Yeah. Well, have you seen it? With yes. Your eyes? Yes, for real. No, you have. That guy in there, the one that was the perfect gentleman and all that stuff. He's for real. Which and, guy? Well, it says Roland Loomis, but you know, it's, 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 it's odd pictures. Uh, which one? I don't remember. Well, it's only, it the only, it's the only pictures of a man in there. Were well, they lesbians? No, no. Well, they, yeah, everybody is. But I mean, it's kind of like, it's all, it goes every which way, so it's not, it's not, uh, It's not like one way. Yeah, one way or else. <laughs> now, what is that oven that's working? Why? Because it's been there for 20 minutes and it's had 10 15 and it hasn't cooked yet. You're kidding me. Would you put your hand in? Is it hot? 
Maybe it just wasn't hot enough, but with gas it should be instantly kind of hot, shouldn't it? I mean... Yeah, it's just making it hot right away. I don't know. Maybe we're running out of gas. Is that me? Is that going to make a difference? If there's gas or not? Gas shouldn't... Yeah. No, it should be just where it is. Oh, wow. I'm going to put it in the oven. Yeah, right. We just put it inside the house and put it in the <laughs> oven. <laughs> it's humorous how it got so really, really hot. It's not so humorous. I would think. I think it's kind of depressing. Yeah, it's very depressing. Very, very Especially depressing. Especially when I find out this, this morning. I guess, well, what are you going to do, you know? What can you do? What I'm just thinking of your mother's other place. <laughs> what? Just thinking of your mother's other place. Yeah, well, I don't know how I could survive there. Yeah, really, think about With it. With all the spiders and fans and stuff. <laughs> Martians. Martians and whatnot. <laughs> it really just came in. Huh. Um, what were we talking about? The clitoris. The clitoris. <laughs> Obviously, that was the part that impressed you the most. That's what's great about those magazines to see what people, what, uh, yeah, they're. Well, but it's old, though. It's like 1973, right? Uh, 83. Amazing. Yeah, that's really ancient, you know? <laughs> I think the newest one, there's more. There's one in there, there's one for Pissart, and there's one for Bazoombas. Was that rest? Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's one. What's that, the point of that magazine? That's the funniest to one. On or just to be funny, or what? Well, I'm Sure, that was so funny about it. On one end, it's like tongue in cheek. On the other end, it's like it's definitely all male oriented, you know? Yeah. And that's what that's why, you know, they got published. And uh, that's what they got published. Well, obviously. I mean, why who else would buy a magazine like that? They would. You think so? Sure, they would. Have you? I don't know. Because I mean, wow, my hands look so great, they're all sweaty. Look at that. What'd you do to them? It's been working. Oh. Oh my God, Carl, that's a bad sign. Hey, you were starting to tell me about something that went on today that was really weird. The video thing or something? Oh, right. Yesterday. So Elsa was in this video, right? Okay. Shit. Yeah. And um, it was for this, this guy named, his name is Juan Clafayette. Juan Classified Ads? Raphael. Oh, oh, okay. And he's this singer. I think he's from Spain. He's a big deal down in South America. All right, so he had this for song. For sure? It's called Al Dia Siguiente, the next day. And it's about like this, this guy who, um, like meets up with this executive woman who's really a woman of the 80s because she's aggressive and uh -huh. all this shit. So, um, so they meet up and like, you know, they had, so they're having a romantic dinner, you know? Huh. They had this dinner all set up with this gross salad, and they're sitting there and like the camera's focusing on her, so like pats her lips, and then he reaches up the table and he hands her a rose, and she takes the rose and she goes like this, and, and she puts it down, and like, and she stands up and like, uh, what happens? Oh, she probably did really oh, well with this. Yeah, yeah, So they're, they're up there and like, the, the, she has her arms around him, and yeah. he reaches over very tenderly and he like takes off her earrings. Puts her <laughs> oh, the God. So my job was to take, watch the like, follow the hand of the camera, and, they put them down, whatever, and zoom in. Yeah. So then, like, she kisses him and stuff. And then, and then, like, later on in the story, like, you, you see them in the bedroom, and, like, he's standing there singing, I'll be at the end of the So she comes, she's standing behind him like this, and there's a fan, her hair, here's a look. She gets behind him and, like, starts going like this, and on his chest. Oh, this sounds really good. And then he, like, turns her, and she just, like, walks away. So and who then, did this? So it's this guy, this Mexican guy. But anyways, it's so, like, you know, he has all these memories of this, you know, this babe or whatever. So he tries to call her in the morning and she's not there. So he wakes up and he's like, Aunque me dolían los labios, even though my lips were hurting. I don't know about that to that. <laughs> Anyways, he opens Hey, you don't know about the uh, piercings either, so you know. <laughs> so he opens the door he's like, uh, Día siguiente, aún me dolían los labios. And like the camera's over there, he's looking at the camera. He opens the door and he's like, ma, ma, ma. And he goes like this and there she is in this like executive outfit. And he turns and smiles at the camera and like walks out with her. <laughs> That was it. You shot all this yesterday? Yeah. You're kidding. And where's it gonna go? Video. TV, Mexico. In video or film? It's video. We shot in video. Oh my God. Did you, you, you gonna see? Guys, this is the first time we worked with a woman camera. You, you gonna see uh, it? Uh, you gonna see it when it's done? Yeah, and I'm my, I'm getting credit. Oh my gosh! Exciting. You get paid? No. What else you get? Huh? What the fuck is happening, with my press man? Well, is it or is it not hot? Maybe turn up the thing, turn up the temperature. Yeah. So anyways, isn't that exciting? Yeah, that is pretty funny. I mean, it's funny, actually. It's really funny. Like the rose bit, I mean, my god. Like he sees, he, um, sees the, the, um, the earrings on the table and he remembers like, oh, you know, last night, whatever. <laughs> Flashback? And, and then it's funny. <laughs> He's there with like this knight, like this this really cool robe on, you know, like this big gold medallion, this hairy chest, and he's like, Oh God! Yes, he can. 
and his like his, his uh, robe is like falling off. Uh huh. And she's standing there in his nightshirt. Like they try to make it sexy. He's like he's like we want to um, we don't want to be you know too direct about it. We just want to like implicate. Oh yeah, sensuality. right. Have you watch much Mexican television? <laughs> No, I haven't. It's about as direct as you can get. Yeah, well, this was pretty, pretty tame. Matter of fact, it's either direct. No, but it's it, it's tame but direct. I mean, it's very you know, it's like those comic books you were reading. Yeah, that was great, huh? Yeah. Slaves of drugs. And it's either that, or you know what else is really neat on Mexican television? You know, Pee Wee Herman's nothing. I mean, like, all their announcers and things wear these like clown clothes and things, and act like little children. No way. Like they Pee do Herman, too. It's really big. Did Pee Wee Herman steal that from them? Yep, I think so. Well, the big deal with Pee Wee Herman is supposedly it comes from the gay bars. No. Well, that's where he developed his thing, yeah. Is he gay? I guess so. That's where he used to perform, that's where he learned his shtick. Oh, he's great. Hey, there's a new one coming out. Pee Wee Herman at the Circus. Pee Wee Herman Circus? Yeah. That should be great. What is he like in real life? That's what I want to know. I would think by now he's probably the same. <laughs> is that? That's Don't you? scary. Well, it isn't, it isn't. I mean, you know. How could you let that down? How could you possibly go out and socialize and not be Pee Wee Herman, right? Yeah, right. Although well, I like, I'd like to hear him, you know, be normal for a minute. Right. You know what I mean. <laughs> right. I, I There's that's... a guy at school who thinks he's him. He carries around this. this oh, you're kidding. This um, video flat, you know, this box that has the horns coming out of the sides. Uh huh. He carries around a lunchbox wherever he goes. He like, talks like him, you know. Oh, that's pretty gross. That's sad because well, he, he's actually quite young, though, isn't he? He's like 32 or something. Like that. He's not young. I thought he was 32. He's not young. That's young, Carla. No, it's not. <laughs> For some of us, it is. Hmm. Well, how old are you? 33, right? Yeah. Well, this is good. Great sound, Carla. Good on the sound. You always say, Correo del videotape. So you really had a good time doing this. What? I see, it sounds like you had a really good time doing this. Yeah, except that they kept me there. We went there at 4.30. It's supposed to be done at like 8. So what'd you do again? And then... You and shot? I got done at like 12.30. All I wanted to do was go home and go see. But no, I had to go see someone. Yeah, right, exactly. And now here you are suffering, as they say. Well, yeah. <laughs> Making lemon worth it. squares. It was worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have direct evidence here. Um, Don't tell mommy. Yeah, right. She's so worried because apparently every time I tell her one thing that I've done, I can't tell her anything anymore. Well, that's probably the wisest move, I guess. Yeah. Isn't it weird? That you, you kind of have to do that just to keep cool. I know. I figure by the time these tapes are done, I'm gonna never sugar. be allowed to come anywhere near Miami. <laughs> it tastes like sugar. Well, it's supposed to, isn't it? No, but like sugar didn't dissolve enough. Mm, like, let's take it over to our place. It'll melt like real fast. You don't like, want to do that. Like instantly. Fine. But it's good when there's chunks in there too. Sometimes, you know, it makes it different. Like That's what I meant. Okay, there you go. Very good. So what did you do yesterday? Did you do camera? Mm -hmm. Shooting or what? Yeah. I was the camera. You were the camera. What did they use? I don't know. Some video shit. Three quarter, half inch? It's like, it's like television stuff. The camera was pretty big. It was about, uh -huh. about three feet long. So you were like on a tripod and stuff? Tripod. Yeah. They have one of those cool dollies that goes like this, you know? Uh-huh. One of those dollies. Oh, no, that's pretty neat. No steady cam? That's steady your cam that's your next job. That's a big thing that the camera sits like out here in the air and it's on a crane, it comes over to your body, and then you can walk with it and it just stays perfect and you look through a video finder. That's cool. Yeah, that is really cool. And that's where you get the perfect you can well you can do whatever you want with it. You can be perfectly smooth or you can have it tilt and whatever. Pan tilt. Yeah. Fall over. <laughs> Crash down, make your legs. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's a little bit expensive for that. Well, that's pretty interesting. So, where did you so meet these people? Be... Yeah, sure. Why not? It's hard to. Yeah. There you go. There's a little light up front, isn't there? Yes. We're pretty much at the bottom of the barrel. I guess. Right there. Fast. I think that's really neat. I think it's cool that people know that you're. That I'm into this stuff, and I'm the only woman that's ever worked with like that. What? You were only. <laughs> what? Oh. You only know, worked with that bowl? What? <laughs> no, the, the man, the director. Oh, this guy, I see. It was just him at this house. So, where'd you meet him? In Hialeah. No, I mean, where'd you meet him originally? Mm. In Hialeah. I met him. Or, oh, I see, I gotcha, okay. He's been at the Sydney Locker concert. 
<laughs> this is getting better. And the, the stuff that the company works for is called Siempre Domingo, Always Sunday. Uh huh, right. Pretty big shit, I've heard. Ooh. Ooh. And he meets his actresses at Cindy Lauper concerts and then moves on to Mexican television. That's very good, I like it. It has potential. Yes. <laughs> Elsa realized it. So, who else was in this, uh, this soiree? Just this loser singer. A lo uh, being the actor? He was such a loose man. And he kept like, like trying to paw, paw Elsa, you know. Whoa, shit. Well, I have a school to on with a ball. <laughs> Yuck. Um, what is that anyway? I couldn't even taste it. This is fresh. Mmm. <laughs> My word. This is fresh. This is ready. You think so? It smells it. It's starting to smell it. Oh, yeah. Maybe one, more, one minute more. Actually, no. Well, it could be, you know, it's just different from what it says. Well, no, because I've done it before and it's real fine. We'll see what happens here. Ow! Oh, good. Well, I guess something's hot. Pretty good looking, huh? Oh, I thought, like, yeah, right, really. There's absolutely no depth of anything here right now. No depth of what? Depth of feel. It's very, there's, the light is really bad. I have to get the, a new light put in. <laughs> okay. Is this an important step? Smell this butter, man. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. The pisser with this camera is it's only black and white. Oh no. I know, so when you're done shooting, you feel very weird. Oh, but does it come out in black and white? No, it comes out in actually pretty beautiful color, considering. Yeah. Considering? Yeah. But while you're doing it. It's a pisser. Oh, well, it's stupid. It's really stupid in the daytime. This isn't that bad. When you're outside and you're seeing everything in bright color and wow. you look at this boring thing. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I got a postcard from this French guy who spells worse in French than I do. He spells worse? Uh huh. So is he going to. Ow, oh, that stove is hot. Can you turn it off? No. Oh. I thought it already was off. Yeah. How'd you meet this one? Wow. We're going to have 48 of these? Oh, come on. We have to leave this here. The sugar will melt down a little bit, huh? <laughs> Maybe it'll start cooking, too. Mm. <laughs> this is my song. Yeah, I guess so.
clean them off a bit. But you never wash mushrooms in water. You think of little it's right. like that. So where is it? Get it out. Get, get to work. Get the little brush. Where'd you buy all this stuff? Please equip country store. Uh huh. You ever been there? Uh -uh. You've never been there? No. Can you live in Miami? You've never been to Sleazy Quick? Sleazy Quick. There's this woman, oh my gosh, there's this woman outside there today who had on, like, you wouldn't believe it. It's like this, oh, this shirt, like the normal sort of shirt. Then she had on, like, these stockings. <laughs> and that was all. And underwear. Really? Black lace. Oh, I like it. That sounds funny. And then she was, like, trying to get tricks. Is it, where is this on Alton? No, this is in the Grove. Oh, easy quick. I know what you're talking about now. That's a weird place to shop. Actually, that's gone through all kinds of transformations over the years. That place has? Yeah. Why would it used to be? Well, it used to be a total, total dog. Yeah, right now it's like, yeah, Yupta has all kinds of champagnes and, you know, whatever you want is there, so to speak. Yeah. This is going to be good. Yeah, here we go. Andy Warhol, look out. Oh no, that was somebody eating a mushroom for 45 minutes, not cleaning One it. One mushroom? Yeah, I think so. No. I never saw it. How can you, what's it called, mushroom? Yeah, it's called eat. <laughs> Something about his, his films, they're all like the same title. Slight variations. You know, sure. Like, low job. <laughs> Haircut. Haircut. I see the similarity right away, Carla. Eat. <laughs> Empire. <laughs> Empire. Sleep. Okay, there you go. I'll, I'll go on that right there. Okay, haircut is two words. <laughs> no, it's used as one. Right. It sounds like haircut, blow job, okay? So there's a similarity. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it signifies one thing, you know? Yeah. One event. You're only going to get one with this. I think I should peel these mushrooms. What do you mean peel them? Really? That's what they do in France. Oh, come on. Let me see. Do do? Peel a little, I've only seen like a little tiny skin yeah, on. Yeah, like this, but you just cut the little ends like yeah. this. Oops, I just picked this up. Cut the little ends. Yeah. Like that. That's what they do instead of wash them actually. Works pretty well. Get some of that trash in here. Uh huh. Let me go like this. Take a little corner. Wait, like that. So you just peel it. Actually, oh my gosh, look at that. Maybe I'll do that. Huh? It's pretty fun. See? Partially peeled mushroom. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. It takes a long time though. Let's yeah. Can you get clean? I was just wondering, like, how come uh, all these projects are happening right now? What sort of projects? Uh, Mushroom peelings? Yeah. I don't know. You know what? I wish my brother would call. Would you? Yeah, but he's uh, he's out groundwater investing. I don't know if he'd call. Think so? Well, he's been gone what two days or just I three? I some important beer back. Oh. We wonder if I, what kind of girls you meet on groundswell expeditions. Especially if you have your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend. What? Neil? You to become a, become a mother. Yeah, what's going to... Oh, oh, that's it. Well, so what happened finally? What did he decide to do? Is that what she you want to know? He she wants him to come. Well, I heard. I heard she, like, kept canceling it, though, or something. Yeah, she keeps delaying it. So what do you think is going to happen? Well... She'll probably just have it. It'll be traumatic, and it'll be that. That's what it sounds like. What do you mean? He'll be married? No, they're not going to get married. Do you think they are? No. I'd say the relationship. Don't you think it's over? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's over. Sure, it's over, but like, doesn't mean that, that, she, that she doesn't want to have a baby. I don't know. Mom thinks she wants to have it. I can't imagine being 19 and wanting to have a baby. I just can't imagine it. Well, one, you're not, first of all, are you? 20. Yeah, right. So, how can you imagine being 19? <laughs> That's right, I guess she had to be 19 once to be 20, right? Well, yeah. So she thinks she wants to, I think, my opinion is... That she wants to get back together with him. That's right, it just so happens there's this baby now, that's all. This fetus, anyways. Yeah, this little homunculi. Homunculi? <laughs> yeah. Well, soon to be. I mean, at least from what I've heard, I only hear things piecemeal. No. I mean, I hear one story from Eric one day, and I hear a totally... One from my mom. My mom is like, no, I, no, I, she's what? No, she's like, just can't stop thinking about it. You know? Well, right, it's, it's sort of, I can tell that that's a whole different perspective from her point of view. That's true. Anyway, she's really volatile right now, anyway, so, huh? I mean, yeah. Oh, wow. oh, that kind of stuff, relationships and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. You certainly aren't helping at all. <laughs> I know, my crass little self, huh? I can't believe it. All I have to do is smile and I get in trouble. <laughs> 
I what do you even do? I want to know. I want to know the real scoop. Because mom's. I haven't done a thing. That's what's been so funny about it. I'm just. I all I have to do is stand there. You remit information. All I have to do is literally stand there, and I get in trouble. I'm sure, I'm sure the stories that come back are much more elaborate than that, but that's how I see it. I just hear that you were like Mr. Innocent. Camera, you know? A what? You just sit there and like pick up all the information and then you tell it from one person to another. That's bullshit. That's what they were doing and they were using me. Oh. Why they'd ask you to tell each other? No, they'd set me up. They were both doing it. I mean, you know, they still both do it. And it's just like all I do now is I just keep my mouth shut and look yeah, at them. Yeah, I'm glad I got it. I wonder how I how I managed to escape. Because it ends up I'm living over there, that's why. That's a well, big I'm difference. Over here, you know, the last but that's different. What are you talking about? It's different because, like, I, uh, I mean, I, uh, uh, I'm more like a peer, so to speak. There, how's that? And I'm not? Well, no, it's not that you're not. I mean, a peer. You're, you're, you're a blood relative. That's different. Well, I'm not a blood relative to Charles. No, I know. You're a blood relative to your mother. I'm not a blood relative to either of them. Doesn't that smell bad? What, that burn stuff? Yeah. No, I'm kind of enjoying because I'm thinking about what's going to come with it. <laughs> I just, you know, the thing is, I've seen so much of this shit that's just haven't. ridiculous to put up with. People acting Would like you children. Have porn now? No. No? What do you have No, not me. The porn queen. The porn queen. No, no, no. She's getting married to her AIDS victim friend. Her AIDS victim? Yeah. AIDS? She's marrying her neighbor who has AIDS, that cancer from AIDS, and he's dying of that. And they're going to spend. Because do you want, they want it, they've been friends their whole life, and they decide they might as well consummate. Well, they're friends or lovers? They're friends. Because he's lovers. gay. Wait, so why is she marrying him? They gonna because they're really close friends, and he's going to die soon, so they want to be married to the rest of the time. I don't understand that. Because they want to be everything positive and nice and really close. That's what they, she said. So the, the lights went on and off, blinking. It is? Oh, so is mine. What does that mean? It means we're probably out of tape. You're running out of tape. Huh? Oh, look, Greg, I think you're... Well, that or the battery's dying. No, we're running out of tape. Well, that's a Sorry. shame, because we were having a good conversation. Yeah, really. Oh. Wait, so I'm, I'm actually... So they had sex now, right? No, 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 no. They won't... They, won't, they don't do anything, because obviously she'd get AIDS. No, and she's fine. Unless she has AIDS. Oh, pfft. Forget it, I'm not eating these things. <laughs> I, just I, changed, have I, got a test. I just changed my mind. Yes, since last night you had a test? Yes. Oh, Carla, give me a break. You did not have a test this morning. I did. Bull. What did you do, run right out this morning? Huh? This guy doesn't have AIDS. How do you know? He, he told you, right? He had a test. He put a condom on his head. <laughs> shut up. No, he never does. Oh. He, come on. Carla, is this a little conquest land here? What, the best kind? Poor boy. Poor boy. He's ruined for life now. He'll have this image stuck in his mind for the rest of his life. You call it being ruined, I call that being blessed. <laughs> I guess it depends what you did, I guess. <laughs> this image? What image? I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't even want to speculate. Good, so don't. <laughs> Actually, it's better without being there. You can really think about this a little bit. He's Give cute. Perspective. He's cute? Well, he must have been. Jesus. I'm sure you weren't that out of it. <laughs> I mean, come on. He's one of those perfect bodies. Perfect bodies? You know what that means? That's a, no, no. I was going to ask you. What does that mean? I want to see what your opinion on it is. No, I don't know what a perfect body is. First of all, it's hairlessness. Okay. Man. No hair at all. Yeah. Second of all... Was this guy of legal age? Definition, yeah. <laughs> okay. Muscle definition. Muscle definition, okay. Third of all, no body fat. Third, but no body fat. Right. This Fourth is Mr. Perfect soft we're looking for skin. here. Soft skin. Soft skin on top of all this? Man, he's got it all. Yeah? That's pretty interesting. He's nice, too. He sits there and waits for me to phone him. He has a really, really deep, deep voice. Oh my god. Really, really, really deep. On top of all this.